so, so scandalous. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Meryl Talks Pop. Today's episode is all dedicated to Mystique. Mystique was a British garage R&B pop group from the United Kingdom formed in the 2000s. They released two top 10 studio albums and seven consecutive top 10 singles from 2000 to 2005. Originally, the group consisted of Alicia Dixon, Sabrina Washington and Tina Barrett and were named face to face. Tina decided to leave the band in order to join S Club 7 and was replaced by Sue Elise Nash and Cena McNally. The group was signed to Telestar Records in early 2000s and changed their name to Mystique. They started working on their first album and released a song called Why, which picked at number 8 on the UK singles chart. Zena McNally left the band just after the release of Why and after that the group decided to remain as a trio. Their debut album, Leaking on Both Sides, was released in 2001 and was certified double platinum by the British phonographic industry. It picked at number 3 on the UK album's charts and spawned the singles All I Want, One Night Stand, Be With Me and the double A single, Roll On, This Is How We Do It. Leaking on Both Sides had moderate success in other countries like Australia and France where it picked at number 152 and number 82 respectively. Their second and final production, Eye Candy, was released in 2003, picking at number 6 and receiving a gold certification in the UK. The album's lead single, Scandalous, picked at number 2 on the UK singles chart and became the group's first and only song to enter the Billboard Hot 100 at number 35. Scandalous reached the top 10 in Australia, Denmark, the Netherlands, Ireland and New Zealand and was featured on Halle Berry's movie, Catwoman. The following singles from I Candy, Can't Get It Back and Style picked at number 8 and number 13 respectively. The band's record label, Telestar Records, went bankrupt in 2005. This decision led to the group's disbandment. After the announcing of their split, they released a compilation album called Greatest Hits, containing a new track called Shoo Shoo Baby. There were rumors about a reunion in 2011 and then in 2014, but no new music was released. After Mystique, Alicia Dixon released four studio albums, has appeared as a judge in several talent shows like Britain's and America's Got Talent, The X Factor, worked as a presenter for the Brit Awards, Children in Need, the Eurovision Contest and became the winner of season 5 of Strictly Come Dancing in 2007. Sabrina Washington became the winner of Celebrity Scissor Hands in 2008 and appeared as a contestant on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here in 2009. In 2010, Sabrina released her debut single, Oh My Gosh, which spent three weeks at number one in Poland. In 2012, she launched her own record label entitled Swash Music, where she released the songs Hit It Hard and Make It Hot, both of which also went to number one in Poland. Sue Ellis Nash opened her own performing arts school called Sue Ellis Stage School and announced she was recording a solo album in 2010, but it never materialized. Nowadays, she owns a swimwear store called Suzu Swimwear in Australia. As for Zena McNally, she released a studio album in 2005 called All of Me, which spawned a couple of singles. She has also worked as a TV presenter and radio personality. I'm not gonna get into the drama and gossip that was formed with the girls back in the day since I just want to talk about their music and careers. There are other videos out there where you can get that information. Remember that my main goal is to talk about music, not spill the tea. It's a shame that Mystique didn't last longer. These girls had a lot of potential, they were different from other girl groups, they mixed different genres, knew how to dance, wrote their own songs and released the catchiest tunes. In my opinion, they should have looked for a different label to release more music. They were just starting to kick off worldwide and I bet they would have been huge. Do you remember Mystique? What are your favorite songs by them? My personal favorites are Scandalous, One Night Stand, Nasty Girl, Home Tonight and That's Just Not Me. Let me know your thoughts about Mystique on the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. See you next time!